Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. And today we're gonna talk about those mistakes that we do at the beginning when we are not too aware of yoga or we don't have too much experience in yoga. We can call it mistakes or misunderstanding. One of those is twisting from your shoulders. Okay, this is very important because sometimes we twist and we overuse our shoulders, you know, and we end in these kind of positions. Or sometimes when we are in this kind of twisting with the legs here and we twist and we twist with our shoulder. Okay, and this is really bad for your arms, of course, your shoulder grill. So what we are gonna understand is how we twist anatomically. So we have muscles here on your waist called obliques, and those obliques work like a, in a crossover. So we have the external and the internal. And when we cross to one side, they work in opposite direction, and the other side in the opposite direction. When we twist, not only the obliques work, but also a lower part of your abs, called transversus abdominus. And in your spine muscles, you, saw, you have muscles who are connecting from vertebrae to vertebrae. There are very little are between vertebrae called rotators. So those muscles are the ones involved in the twist. Other common mistake we do when we twist is that we don't straight the back. So we can twist like that. And this can be contraindicated because your body doesn't know what we are doing, or we are curving the spine, or we are twisting. So it doesn't really get any benefits. That's why it's so important when you are doing sitting positions that you are able to keep your back straight for a twist. Because if you are sitting position with the back curving and twist like that, it doesn't really help you for anything, and it can hurt as well our joints. So the important part is to understand that we twist from the waist. So we are gonna start to do one exercise to feel your waist and muscles. So bring your hands onto your waist. Mm -hmm. Inhale to prepare and exhale and we twist. Imagine that you are gonna move your torso towards the side from your obliques. When you start to twist from your obliques and from the muscles in your waist and your spine, you start to realize that you don't go that much because you have certain range but then when we force the shoulders, we feel like we are twisting more. But in reality, what we are doing is just this in our shoulders, which is really bad for our shoulders, as I explained. So remember, hands on your hips, inhale, exhale, let's twist. You can twist to the other side, just from your waist. Put your hands and really use your hands to move your torso. Imagine like these little toys that you move from the waist to go sideways, the same story here. So twist and come back. Let's go other side and come back. Other side and come back. And you really activate this area. Not only gonna help it to twist better, but also it's gonna help it to strengthen your muscles. Now keep me your hands on prey position, middle of the chest. And we're gonna twist to the side. Normally when we do these twistings, we do these kind of things. So keeping the hands on the middle of the line of the body, it helps us to really concentrate as far as we can go. So as far as we can go with the muscles, because again, sometimes we go to our maximum, but then we move the shoulders and we feel like we are further, but in reality, it's just the misalignment of the shoulders, because this is a one part together, like a, the torso moved together with the shoulders. Huh? The shoulders do something else with the arms, but with the torso, related with the torso, they just go this way or sideways. But when we twist, the shoulders remain in the same position. So let's have the hands on your on your right position and then inhale, straight your back. If you cannot keep your back straight, I recommend that you put you against the wall or do it on a chair that you are able to keep your back straight. Now twist towards to the right without moving the hands as far as you can go. And you will see that the hands don't go all the way down. Let's go other side. And if you want to go deeper, you really need to engage your tummy to twist you more from your waist. And come back. How it feels that? It makes sense? So let's do another exercise important. So let's come on to all fours. And from all fours, we're gonna step forward right foot. Mm -hmm. Now bring me your right arm behind your back, lift the chest, remember your back has to be straight to twist properly. 
and from here press the ground with your feet and we twist again from the waist without doing this with the shoulder try to don't move your shoulder and try to just move from your waist good so then you can really feel bring it back and one more time inhale and exhale from your waist try to don't overuse your shoulder great and come back release bring your legs together you can sit down in this position if it's comfortable for you hands pray position or you can sit on a chair and again twist and come back twist other side and come back hands on your shoulders twist and make sure that this elbow doesn't go forward and come back and feel the sensation that somebody have a hands in your waist to come back it makes sense so just be careful because sometimes we twist and we when we use the hands it's okay but make sure that you are really forcing your waist to twist not your shoulders that will help you to have better alignment in the yoga poses but also to develop more flexibility in the twisting position i hope this is helpful for you let me know in the comments what do you think that you if you have any question thank you for joining us and see you again